Hey everyone, it's already uh, the middle of July, if you can believe it, the year's more than half over. Um, it's been a rainy season and uh, finally starting to see some sunshine out, as you can see I'm wearing my, my summer gear. Uh, market update for you, it's, uh, things are still looking good as I'm, yeah, I'm sure you're hearing on the news that things have been slowing down. They, they certainly are. The, the frenzy that was happening before has definitely cooled down. but. You know, the, the challenge with when you read any of the, the headlines, if you've seen any of the headlines, this market is down. Um, the numbers that we saw even this month, so we had 20, just about 2,600 sales uh, for the month of June. That's lower than it was at this time last year and lower than the month previous. However, if you erase those, it's still higher than almost any other month that we've ever had. So things are still looking really good. Uh, the level of inventory is starting to creep up and while sales are, uh, not quite as plentiful as they've been. They're still robust and so the, the supply and demand levels are still actually still favoring the sellers. Uh, it's coming back to a balanced market, but everything is, is still going well. Um, some of the fear that's been happening is with the interest rates rising, how does that affect us? Well, what it's doing is it's pushing people down into the lower price ranges and so it's really benefiting condos. Um, so for the condo owners, that's all very good news. The number of sales we've seen year to date for condos is significantly higher than it's been. It's uh, almost triple what it was two years ago at this time, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, the sale prices have not reflected that yet. They're, they're just slightly, slightly up, uh, not by a whole lot. And so uh, there's still definitely some room for improvement there, but it's, it's coming. And uh, downtown is starting to, to get a little bit more robust again. Uh, we're starting to see people um, finding the condo life more attractive and uh, and so that's been helping. Acreage market has been uh, balanced. It's been, the sale numbers are down a little bit from, from last year because last year was an absolute frenzy on acreages. However, the average sale price is significantly up. So um, prices have increased a lot drastically. They are settled now and uh, I think you should start to see that balancing itself out. Um, so overall, like really nothing scary at all. Um, just just a good balanced market that's frankly just a little bit more um, feasible and uh, sustainable. And so um, yeah, I think Alberta knowing that, that Canada's got some inflation issues and there's potentially going to be some, some recessions coming. Um, we are seeing Alberta numbers still just just really really doing well. It's uh, the, the the number of job increases with the oil um, with the oil industry doing as well as it's doing. We we can expect to be the front runners really in, in real estate anyways and probably economically in general here. Um, so we're still seeing investment properties selling. We're still seeing uh, rental rates going up and overall uh, just a just a healthy outlook. So. Yeah, it's all very good news. Um, things are still flowing and, uh, and that's the report for the month. Uh, expect to see me next month and we'll uh, let you know how things are progressing as we move forward toward the uh, summer.